Greetings from Bagram Airfield. This is your AFN Afghanistan Freedom Watch update. I'm Petty Officer Dustin Diaz. Afghans will soon head to the voting booth, and Afghan security forces are making sure that these citizens can safely cast their votes. Afghan police officers and soldiers are increasing security for September 18th national elections. U.S. service members are meeting with Afghan operations coordination centers around Afghanistan to discuss the details, like the number of polling stations, their location, and the level of security at each polling site. This increase in security comes on the heels of Taliban threats, threats that promise death to those who are actually involved in the elections. Knowing and defeating the enemy requires a clear view of the battlefield. Senior Airman Barbara Patton takes us to Nangahar province, where an unmanned aircraft system brings real-time views to soldiers miles away. This is a Shadow 200, one of many unmanned aircraft systems that patrol skies for military surveillance. Its camera can project near real-time video back to a command center, where U.S. service members review the footage and use it to identify and eliminate threats. This particular shadow takes off from forward operating base Fenty in Nangarhar province, Afghanistan. This small but important piece of equipment provides comfort to the troops who regularly perform missions outside the wire. We can provide overwatch for the troops. It gives them a, a sense of security, knowing that somebody in the air has their, their back and is watching them. As the shadow takes off for its next assignment, service members in Afghanistan are given a true eye-in-the-sky capability that will provide security for themselves and for Afghan citizens. Senior Airman Barbara Patton, Nangahar Province, Afghanistan.